Now, one of the things that I wanna mention is that you can use a tool like Table Plus to understand what's in your database. I know it can be confusing when you're using the Rails console and trying to figure out what is actually in my database and is there bad data and did I miss something? You can use a tool like Table Plus, SQL Pro, Postico. There are a lot of options out there um, and this one will open most everything. And you can create a new SQLite connection and go to your SQLite database and open that up. And so we'll just have this as scheduled tweets and we will test our connection to that, make sure it connects. And inside of Table Plus, we can look at what data we have in our database. So here we have our users. There's our email, there's our password digest. We only have the single user and our Twitter accounts table has our user. This one has an arrow, so you can see that it is connected to our users table with the ID of four. So if we ever say current user um, and we're logged in as this user, when we say dot Twitter accounts, it knows to look for all of the Twitter accounts with the matching user ID. So um, it's really, really useful to have a tool like this if you want to understand what's happening in your database. Uh, you can see your tokens, you can see your images, your usernames and names, and all of those things. And so I just wanted to point this out that you'll see what SQL commands it generates down here at the bottom to show you these items. And that's the same thing that your Rails application is doing for you. It knows SQL very well, so it's able to automatically query things for you, and you get to just live in Ruby instead of having to worry about SQL commands and querying the database. So it allows you to map Ruby on top of your tables and records automatically. So um, I just wanted to point out that Table Plus is a very good tool to have uh, as you're poking around and trying to learn Rails.